Survive the Night, an intense hide and seek horror game created by Auric Team that used to creep before the dawn, which is inspired from the game Until Dawn, where you must run, hide, and do whatever you can to survive until 6 a.m. while trying to avoid the slasher. Every intermission, a random map will be selected by the game, and one player is chosen as the slasher, while the rest are playing as survivors. As a survivor, your main objective is to survive until 6 a.m. while trying to avoid getting killed by the slasher. Though, each round will have bonus objectives that's tied to its chosen map, where, as a slasher, your goal is to hunt down and kill all survivors before 6 a.m. by any means necessary. The game includes a wild variety of perks and gears for survivors to use to increase their odds of survival whereas different kinds of slashers with each having their own unique abilities to counter it. The game has three types of currency and a leveling system that uses XP which are gained by playing the game to help you in unlocking interesting stuff in the game. Points is the main or the dominant currency of the game as it can be used to buy a variety of things from the shop. Or you can try your luck in buying crates to unlock interesting stuff ranging from gears to sound effects. You can earn points by collecting relics that are scattered around the map to map specific bonus tasks which also results in interesting outcomes to the map itself. Survive every in-game hour, survive the round, winning the round, and kill survivors. Or you can opt for the easy way out by being a whale and buy points with robux. The path is yours to choose. Though, you can increase your gains by using certain perks, play special modes, purchasing one of the game passes, or have Robux Premium. Tokens is a supposedly elite currency in the game, which you can use to buy some elite items for Merch and Isla. You can get tokens by completing daily tasks, find Merch crates which has a chance to spawn somewhere in the map, or you can convert your accumulated points to tokens. Though, you can increase your gains by buying some game passes and having Robux Premium. The third currency of the game is coins, which are a limited time currency used for special events and seasonal events in the event store and seasonal event store. Coins are earned similarly to how points are earned, though you can increase your gains by using a metal detector gear where you can buy it from the event store, collecting a nightfall crate and using the event interest perk, which is also sold from the event store. As of now, the recent summer event has ended. So stay tuned with the game's regular updates to see when will the next event begins. You can also check out their social links that we've provided down in the description. Moving back to the gameplay aspect, if you die during the round, you can become a ghost if the round is still active, but you need a total of 100 hours to survive before being granted this ability. As a ghost, you may choose to decide whether or not you want to help your fellow survivors or betray them by helping the slasher with your powers or by being a rat. Though, you'll be able to unlock different ghost abilities as you level up every 100 levels until level 900. Likewise, you can purchase some other ghost abilities from the stores as well. But, keep in mind that each ghost ability may be helpful or hindrance to either party. Also, as a ghost, you are able to interact with relics, do tasks, and face through doors for better ease of access. So you can try to finish collecting the remaining relics or finish the remaining tasks in peace without the dread of the slasher hunting you down as you can become invisible. Besides that, every fifth round in the game, one of those six special modes will be chosen. Though, if you do own a private server, you can choose it whenever you want. First of it being the blood mute, where two players are chosen as slashers. In this mode, slashers are nerfed whereas survivors are buffed. Though, don't get too cocky about it, as being a survivor in this mode will increase your likelihood being double teamed as slashers are inclined to stick together. The second of the list would be contagion where a weak slasher is chosen among the players is tasked to infect the survivors in the match by killing them. Survivors that die in this round will immediately become a slasher. Lights Out, the third mode in the list, where the ambiance turns foggy and dark, in which hinders both survivors and slashers alike. Daytime, where the night sky is eliminated as the bright sunny day lights up the map, changing the overall game flow, whether or not this is favorable to both sides, it's up to interpretation of yourself for this fourth special move. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because... Silence. The fifth mode, which is similar to Lights Out, but the ambiance of the match is all silence, as if you've accidentally traversed into silent hills. Last but not least, the sixth one, the deep night, 
where black tendrils will cover the bottom and top parts of the screen. The ambience will change to a dim purple, including the scenery light sources as well, making it harder to survive as your perks and gears are disabled, thus putting you at a big disadvantage as this mode is heavily favours towards the slasher. The slasher is able to one-hit any survivor in this mode, so traverse carefully during the deep night. Gameplay experience aside, the game does also offer story mode too, in which you can bring up to 4 players with you to enjoy. The game is free to play, or you can pay 50 robux for a private server. We give this game a score of a 9.5 out of 10. Even though it may have numerous amounts of game passes, it may seem ridiculous, though the alternative versions of it are available as well, and most of the game passes doesn't necessarily interfere with the game's core experience. Also, owning a private server allows access to special features that changes the overall base game's experience that you can also have fun with your friends. Go ahead now fellow survivors, discover the secrets of the game's world, who knows what secrets you may unravel, and stay safe out there when you begin to enter the deep night. Hey, if you have enjoyed this week's episode, why not leave a like and subscribe? Additional information can also be found down in the description. See you all next Friday on where we will end up in the deep night. Because at last we have to go inside to survive the night.